We started off with a simple BBJ application comprised of a GUI window with a BBJ HTML view control. Taking advantage of some of BBJ 17's new features, we injected the jQuery JavaScript library and a popular JavaScript calendar plugin into the HTML view control. After executing a line of JavaScript, we have a fully functional calendar that runs in both GUI and BUI. The full calendar plugin that we chose, though, is capable of so much more. It has a rich API that covers display options, time zone support, alternate views, a variety of different event types, and even user interactions such as clicking, hovering, selection, dragging, and resizing. That's pretty exciting, and our application can do a lot more if we go beyond the simple JavaScript that displays the default calendar. To start with, we'll include some calendar customizations to support different view types. Copying and pasting some of the demo code from the plugin into our BBJ program results in a souped-up calendar with a variety of different views. After looking into the calendar's API some more, it supports callbacks to execute custom JavaScript code in response to a number of different user events. This is a perfect opportunity for us to find out when the user wants to reschedule an event or modify its duration. And since we're in charge of what should happen when the user changes an event like that, we'll take the opportunity to have the JavaScript pass the information along to BBJ to demonstrate the two-way communication. After adding a few more lines of JavaScript to our BBJ program, we've told the calendar what to do when the user drags and drops an event to a different day. We can write similar code that keys off of its event resize calendar callback. So whenever the user extends or compresses an event's duration, then we pass that information to BBJ as well. Our BBJ program is pretty simple right now. So whenever we get an event from the JavaScript in the HTML view control, we'll display it in a message box to verify that our application is aware of the user's changes. With all of our callbacks in place, let's run our application again. This time, we can move an event, such as the buoy training, to a different day by dragging and dropping. After letting go of the event, BBJ displays a message box indicating that it's aware of our change. That worked great, so let's test our event duration callback. What if the buoy training is so popular that we want to extend it to run three days? We simply resize the event on the calendar, and BBJ responds by telling us how long the event now lasts. Notice that the calendar automatically shifted the dashboard training event on Friday to sit underneath the extended buoy training event. To revert our change, we drag the right edge of the event back to Thursday, and the BBJ message box confirms our change.